everyone, in this lecture, we're gonna go over an example of the two sample t-tests where the two samples are independent of each other. So this is from the OpenStax textbook. And so uh, if you wanna follow along, you can go ahead. Um, this is example 10.1, independent groups. It says the average amount of time boys and girls aged seven to 11 spend playing sports each day is believed to be the same. So that's the null hypothesis that gender shouldn't make a difference here. A study is done and data are collected, resulting in the data in this table here. So if you notice real quick, um, you have two samples. You have a sample of girls and you have a sample of boys. Two independent samples of each other. And in this case, you notice that the girls um, played less sports than the boys. Um, uh, at least the average number of hours played was less than the boys here. But keep in mind, too, that the sample standard deviations are also different. So uh, you have different sample sizes. You have different um, number of hours played, um, different averages, and different standard deviations. That's going to make a, a, a significant difference. Now, how can we use our calculator to do this? Well, let me teach you guys. If you go to stats. Uh, if you go to edit, you'll see the two lists, L1 and L2. The problem is I don't know what my samples are. Because the only thing I know is the sample size, the average, and the standard deviation of each sample. Well, that's kind of annoying. However, if you go to stats and you go scroll over to the tests menu and you go to the two sample t test, you are going to see input as in data or stats. You, let's scroll over to stats. This allows you to input specifically the data from the samples. Um, as the statistics of the data that's necessary to do the t uh, two sample t-test rather than the data itself. So uh, it's going to ask for x1 bar, which is the average of your first sample, which in this case will say sample one is the girls, sample two is the boys. The first average is two. The first standard deviation is 0.866. And the size of that sample was nine. For the second one, the second average was 3.2. The second standard deviation was one and the second sample size was 16. And then again, we're not gonna pool and we're gonna calculate this. Now I am getting, in this case, I'll write it over here, T is negative 3.1423 and so on. And I'm getting a P value of 0 0.0054 and so on. And so should we claim that these two, uh, that um, gender makes a difference on this? And the answer is yes, because my p-value is less than most alpha values that we would expect. Alpha is typically 0 0.05. This p-value is very, very small relative to 0 0.05. It's less than 0 0.05. And so for that reason, we should reject this null hypothesis, null hypothesis that we see here that the average amount of time boys and girls aged 7 to 11 to spend playing sports each day is believed to be the same. Well, they're not the same. Because I just showed you. P-value is less than 0.05 right there. So for that reason, we can say that gender plays a difference. Now, if you notice, this was an example that didn't involve an experiment. And that can be the case. Um, but you still have two independent samples. The way you pick them are independent of uh, what you picked be, um, uh, with the other sample. So you just pick a random, uh, simple random sample for the boys, simple random sample for the girls, and then you conduct this, um, this experiment, this test. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture.